Today we're going to finish the assembly of the worktop frames. In the previous video I showed you how to make these half lap joints using two different methods and in today's video we're going to be gluing and screwing the frames together. I'm going to quickly just jump back into SketchUp and I'll show you how I'm going to build up these worktops for, for the benches. To install these base units in the workshop the first thing I'm going to do is screw a 2x4 pattern to the wall. This serves three purposes. Firstly, it gives me something really good to fix the base unit to. Secondly, it provides a void at the back of the cabinet where I can run some services, electrics or anything like that. And thirdly, it gives a really good bearing for these timbers for the worktop. So this rear edge is going to have a really good support, nice and strong. So if I put anything heavy on the worktop, it's going to be properly supported. These are the bearers for the worktop that we cut and I showed you in the last video how to cut the half laps for these. On top of those are the stretchers. This now forms the main structural part of the worktop. On top of these timbers I'm going to finish this with a sheet of 18mm plywood. This gives me a nice flat level surface. And then on top of the plywood we're going to put a sheet of 4mm hardboard. This is just to give us a nice smooth finish. And then to cover this untidy edge we're just going to trim the whole thing with a nice bit of hardwood. And probably what I'll do is I'll end up a router this hard corner chamfer this off or do a quarter round over just to ease this corner and that's how I'm going to construct the worktops. I've just dry assembled the first of the frames so I can test all of these half lap joints and then if I need to do any finessing to get these flush I can take them over to the mitre saw and just trim a little piece off but this is all put together now I just want to check the dimensions it matches exactly the width of the cabinet across the length and then I've got four inches of overhang on the front of the cabinet and two inches of overhang on the back which is going to sit on the rail that I'm going to screw to the wall. So now I'm going to get these glued and clamped, drill some pilot holes and then screw this frame together. It's always worth checking the diagonal dimensions of anything you're building. If the diagonal dimensions are exactly the same, I've got 125 here, and I've got exactly 125 here. If the two dimensions are different in one direction or the other, then the frame would be slightly racked. And then it's just a case of adjusting that until the two dimensions are the same. And then I know that this corner then is gonna be perfectly square. So it's worth checking that just before you clamp everything down and then start screwing your workpiece together. Two screws in each of these corners is going to be plenty strong enough to hold this frame together. Okay, so there we go. The two before timber frame is now all screwed together. We've got a nice overhang on the front here, so when we want to clamp pieces to the worktop, we've got something nice to clamp to. We're going to come in after this now, and we're going to cut some three quarter inch ply. Obviously, there'll be a full sheet which will cover the top. And then, as well as that, we're going to put hardboard on top of that give us a nice smooth finish to work on and then once we've got those two layers on there then we'll come in afterwards and we'll cap the whole thing with a nice edge banding just to tidy up these unsightly edges and that'll be our worktops. 
That's all the construction done. We've got everything we need now to put this workshop together. Finished all the tops, the cabinets are all done, doors are ready to be hung. It's literally now just a case of shifting all the machinery out of the way and getting all these base cabinets set in position. I'm gonna set up a time-lapse camera, my little GoPro in the corner of the workshop here, and I'm gonna try and capture the whole sequence from start to finish and then condense the whole thing down in to a couple of minutes. Uh, hopefully we'll have all of these cabinets in place in one day. So make sure that you subscribe, because uh, the next video obviously will be us putting all these units in place. You don't wanna miss that one. And I'll put a couple of links to some of the other workshop videos in case you've missed the beginning of this series. But give us a thumbs up if you've liked what you've seen. Hopefully it's been of interest to you. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.